All right. So this is a movie I've wanted to talk about ever since I saw it twice in the theaters. And I don't typically see movies twice in the theaters unless it's really, really good. <clears throat> but this one? <laughs> this one was so good! Sorry, did I say good? No, 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 I meant great. No, 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 not, not great. It's, it's amazing. No, 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 wait, it's freaking super! Get it, cause the movie, the movie's called, the movie's called Super Mario. Anyways, this movie is one of those movies that launches you back to your days of pressing that greasy power button on your Wii and hearing that glorious sound. Seriously though, I'm having trouble even starting how to explain why this movie is one of my favorite animated movies of all time. I mean, it was so good I had to get a giant poster for it in my room to show everyone that this is the movie. I didn't even mention how it made 1.3 billion dollars at the box office. Yes, that's right. I said billion with a B. Mama mia! But anyways, I'm gonna stop gassing this movie up for now and get started with the video. Now, a good animated film usually has most of the components of a good live action film. Good writing, good pacing, etc. But what makes an animated film so special is it Animation! The animation for this movie is some of the most polished and most pristine animation that I've ever seen for any film, really. I'm not gonna lie, I got really, really scared when I heard that Illumination was gonna be the people animating this because I didn't want them to make another one of these! Try this on for size. Thankfully, though, that wasn't the case at all. The production of the Super Mario Bros. movie started way back in 2020, and the movie came out this year in 2023, which means that the animators took their sweet, sweet time, like they should, Give me that. making a movie so full of color and passion, it makes you want to taste the rainbow. What's more impressive though is that the animators actually probably only spent two years making this film due to the fact that the casting was released in 2021, which brings me to my next point. The casting! Let's not lie, we were all terrified when the casting for this movie came out, especially when they announced that Star-Lord slash the Lego Man was going to play our favorite Italian plumber. What? No! Chris Pratt is Mario! What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a me, a Mario. But let's not also lie at the fact that Chris Pratt shut the mouths of anyone who ever doubted his voice acting abilities, including me. <laughs> now listen, I love Charles Martinet. Everyone grew up with that man yelling wahoo and screaming to his death. But after I saw this movie for the first time, I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't have been at least a little annoyed if I heard Charles Martinet's voice for an entirety of 1 hour and 32 minutes. Like again, I love his voice, but there's a reason you never typically hear Mario speak any full sentences whatsoever in his games. Me think, why waste time, say lot word when few word do trick. But enough about Chris Pratt and Charles Martinet. I also loved the work that the other voice actors put into their characters. I love Charlie Day as Luigi for some reason because his voice just fits Luigi. I don't really know how to explain that. Anya Taylor-Joy surprisingly did very well at sounding like she was actually in the movie and not in a recording booth. Jack Black was just the best, of course, because I mean, he has done legendary voice acting before. <laughs> Keegan-Michael Key was just himself except with a high-pitched voice filter, which is fine, I guess. You got messed up, Aaron! But then there's... Don't get me wrong, I love Seth Rogen, but I swear he was put into this movie just for his- <laughs> Either way, I guess I can't imagine anyone else playing Donkey Kong anymore. The point is, this cast did an amazing job at giving these nostalgic characters memorable and fresh voices. And I don't think this movie could have been casted better. Speaking of nostalgia, the entire movie is kind of built on nostalgia, which I actually don't mind, because if there was one thing about the movie that flooded me with memories and made my eyes well up, it was- it was the- of all soundtracks, and here is why. The man who created this glorious soundtrack goes by the name of Brian Tyler. This one guy created amazing soundtracks for movies such as Avengers Age of Ultron, Scream 5 and 6, most of the Fast and Furious movies, and one of my favorite soundtracks that makes me cry when I listen to it, Five Feet Apart. Now why was this guy perfect for an adaptation of the most popular video game franchise? Because he is literally a gamer himself. When put into a Zoom call with Mario's creator and composer Miyamoto and Kondo, Brian stated, and I quote, I lost my mind. When I grew up, I had gaming magazines and remember pictures of Miyamoto being in so many of them. They were like superstars, and they knew this was really important to me, so I was like, I'm not gonna let you down. And he most certainly did not. 
in the soundtrack alone, there are at least 130 different musical references. I'm talking references like these. I don't care who you are, but if you played any of the Mario games growing up, when you watch this movie, there is definitely a musical beat you hear at some point that just takes you back. And that's totally not why after this movie, I blasted this soundtrack in my car for a month straight. But that is exactly why the soundtrack in the movie itself is just genius. Nearly everyone who worked on this movie grew up with the famous Italian plumber. And so naturally, they all had a passion for this project, and it shows. I love it when projects such as these are filled with so much passion, and not just the desire of crashing the box office. This movie stands alone on itself, which is something you don't see a lot of movies do nowadays. And that is exactly why the Super Mario Bros. movie is now one of my top favorite animated films of all time. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.